My phone's looking to get some torture. It just went and crashed on me. Crashed on me. I was just finishing up my video here. I don't know what town I'm in. I'm on my way back. Not bad. I'm on my way back to uh, Macedonia. I am, oh my God, I'm still an hour away. How? This ridiculous GPS took me in some backwards side road way back to wherever this town is. This is insane. Um, pretty good day. Aside from what's going on right this second, which is not the end of the world, but pretty good day. Uh, left this morning from uh, Ontario. I'll give you guys a video this afternoon. A little quick, a little quick update. I left from Ontario five and a half hours down to Mount Gilead. I wanted to race these horse day, and especially I want to get a look at these fillies and just, you know, a smoking hot Irish girl looked like she came around the other day. She was starting to make moves forward. Coupe de Ville. I don't know what the hell went on with her the other day. And then Whispering Song has been a train wreck from. Um, from the start of the summer. So those horses were on my mind. Some Jimmy, always nice to drive Jimmy. I took it for granted that he was just going to be a winner. There's no walkovers. There's no gimmies at the fairs or any other racing anywhere. And he could beat fair and square. A decent mile. Was he slipping? Was he flat? I don't know, maybe. But he could beat. Uh, but he raced good. And then Victor Cruz, a couple of them partners sent me a, a message and said, hey, are we still selling Victor Cruz? I, I would imagine it's probably the right move to make. I want to see what fares are left, what his calendar looks like for us, and then we'll we'll pull the trigger and make a decision in the next day or two. Um, but as I said, the Phillies were on the front of my mind. Now, Leaps and Bounds race was canceled today. Uh, the Red Mile is a clay track, and when it rains hard, uh, look out. It's, it can get really messy really quick. And they went and canceled the card. They started tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the morning. So 11 o'clock in the morning, we'll get to see Leaps and Bounds race. The only horse that I thought uh, raced poorly today was more than you know don't know why Megan's any scope good after um, will draw his blood but realistically it's for all intents and purposes it's September 1st so uh, not really a whole lot hot a whole lot left for more than you know this might be it for him he might go to the field for a little while now we'll see then we got to Mount Gilead now I got to Mount Gilead <laughs> A five and a half hour drive. I got there ten minutes before post parade. Went on the track with uh, Whispering Song. This is a filly that's just been a heartbreaker all year long. Man, she's been tough to deal with. And um, I didn't know what to think. Sure, I'm expecting her to win. Is it cop out? Oh, there it is. I'm expecting her to win, but will she? I don't know. She looked good today. A uh, half and four and a piece mile and two five and a bit. That's a good mile for that filly today. She was very good. Then Coupe de Ville, what would she do? Is she going to keep her, her marbles in her head? She was fine today. A little headstrong, uh, approaching the quarter pole to the three eights. I got her settled down after, but uh, I don't know that I've ever seen a horse win by 46 and a half lengths. And who charts a half a length? You know, if you're eyeballing it, you're like, eh, it looks like it might be 45. No, no, no. That's clearly 46 and a half. It's not like they got trackers. Or there's a satellite tracking them. It's just eyeballed it at 46 and a half. Okay. Uh, so uh, an easy winner for Coupe de Ville. She, she kept her wits about her and did well. And then um, Smoking Hot Irish Girl looked good again today. Very, very impressed with Smoking Hot Irish Girl today again. Now, Little Green tried to pull up coming out of the turn. You know, it was funny because the gentleman, I believe, that works for Chris Beaver, I think it's BJ Roberts, was the guy that pulled up beside me. He said, what a beautiful filly that is. I said, yeah, you know, when she decides she wants to be a horse, I think she's going to be a real good horse. You know, when you're still doing stupid things like pulling up, coming out of the last turn, coming to the hat, when you're doing dumb shit like that still, you're not paying attention to your work. And when Smoking Hot Irish Girl has decided that she once and for all wants to be a successful racehorse, she will. She will. Uh, so great day at the fair. Uh, Jimmy, come first over, finish second, whatever. He's a little flat, but he raced all right. And then Victor Cruz raced out of his skin. That was a big mile and a good finish for him. Uh, but again, I'm not going to carry. I don't think we're carrying over Victor Cruz into the 2023 season. So when do we offer him up for sale, I guess, is the right question. Um, now, uh, I got to watch, man, oh man, Resolute Bay has been possessed the last two weeks. He looked incredible. Wow, 54-1 and one and on Cruz. 
uh, him and the, both the Reds are looking good. Resolute Bay and Red Overbach look fantastic this week. Um, just waiting for Yes. Waiting for my boy Yes. He's in a good spot. A little sickness last week. We dealt with it. He should be in a, a good position tonight. So uh, overall, it looks like we, we've had and we're going to continue, hopefully, uh, into the last race tonight to have a great day. So a little stressful at the barn. I know my wife, Amy, God love her. She takes everything so seriously, and we're moving some horses up to First Line Training Center this week, and she's running around and doing stuff. I said, you realize we have people to do this, right? Because I, I don't like when she, she just like that. She's a worry wart, and uh, obviously you guys know by now, I am, but I'm not. You know, when it comes to stuff like this, I have all the confidence in the world that Mario Bergeron, and, well, Harry's not going up right away, but Dominic Ledu and Cindy Acton, these people can pack their barns up and start to move them up. They don't need me holding their hand, and um, you know, Amy's just just worried, worried to death. So it's it's not a big trek. We're not taking a trip over the mountains with dog sleds. This is 12 minutes straight northeast, so um, not a big deal. Anyway, uh, you know, the beat goes on for us here at the stable, and uh, I mentioned it in the other video. I'll mention it quick again. We did buy a new horse today. Good as him is the name of the horse. Uh, it took me a minute to figure out exactly uh, what his name was. Good as him. Um, nice horse, Cantab Hall horse, half brother to Father Patrick. He had been a little lackluster for for the for the world champion bloodline that he has, but still been a pretty good horse. And quite frankly, um, I thought he was going to go for a lot more money. We had bid on this horse back in January, and they had bought him back for seventy two thousand, trained him back, castrated him, raced him. He won his last start in fifty five. So. Um, Fifty four thousand I think is fair for him. As I said today, if I'm wrong, I'm not gonna be really wrong. And if I'm right, I could be really right. So um I think a, a good purchase on our behalf is good as him. Uh where is he gonna race? Great question. He might stay in Plain Ridge for a bit. If there's classes there, I'm gonna to talk to Mark Beckwith and if Mark just flat out says I don't have room right now, then we could always call the gentleman, uh Jeff that had horses for us last year. He had reached out to me and said that he did have a stall empty, but I am gonna offer it to Mark first because is that necessary? Uh, <laughs> I am going to offer it to Mark first. So I'm going to reach out right now to uh, Mark Beckwith. I don't know where he's going to go. He could come to Northfield. He could come to Mohawk. He might go to Plain Ridge. So if you're out there and you're like, I might buy a horse, a share in this horse, but you really don't want to get licensed anywhere, maybe wait to see where he lands. I don't know where that's going to be. It could be Ontario. It could be Ohio. It could be Pennsylvania. Or it could just be staying right put in Massachusetts till the end of the meet. It's over in a few weeks, I think. So we'll see. We'll see uh, where I'm going to go with him. So tomorrow we got the fair horses. We have some other horses going. Should be a lot of fun tomorrow. Um, tomorrow night, I'm obviously uh, partial to my girl, Blue Tesla. She races tomorrow night. And then uh, Thursday morning, I'm going to qualify swinging senior. I'm going to school. Uh, for those of you out there wondering about this. Every time I go to say his name, I can't remember his name. And it's always there. Anytime I'm thinking about it, it's there. The Swan for All Colt. Um really bugging me now uh the swan for all called he's gonna school he's gonna school on thursday morning also and then i'm back to ontario thursday evening so that is what went on today that's what's going on tomorrow the rest of the week i'll talk to you all very soon take care